painting is like a very special skill and not everybody is able to do it and I guess experienced people who've been living for a long time actually are the one who make it the best and it's always nice to have a nice sweater, a nice hat that has been hand-knitted by someone else. I'm Margot, I'm Faustine, and we are the founders of Woolen. Je suis Margot, je suis Faustine, and we are the founders of Woolen. Uh, so Faustine and I met uh, here in New York. We come, I mean, we had a few years in the same city, but we had to come to New York to meet. We met through a friend, and she said, oh, maybe you should meet, you, 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 you will get along, and we actually did, and we met three times. And then she asked me, you know this project you talked about, you know, having some nice grandmothers, skilled and talented grandmothers knitting for, uh, for, for you, that's, that's a great idea. And I said, no, I don't have the guts. And she said, I will be your guts. And so that's the way it started. Working with older people is kind of innovative uh, in today's society and economy. Like, it feels to us that seniors are kind of left apart and retirees so once they're out of their workforce like we don't even see them anymore or take so much care about them. Woolen is a way to welcome them back into the workforce, into the economy, into doing something valuable, something that people are going to want to buy. Also I feel like being away from home, away from our families, we don't, like, we don't have our grandparents here, we don't have our parents here or aunts, so it's kind of like we have to have that intergeneration feel somehow, and we've recreated it, it here uh, by having all those senior leaders around us, and we've managed to have this great community. Yeah, I feel very lucky to be surrounded by having the opportunity to share more uh, with older people as well. My grandmother taught me how to knit when I was probably about six or seven years old. I won't tell you how old I am now, but I've been knitting for a long time. And then I kind of fell out of the habit of knitting when I began to travel a lot for my job when I was working. I would have to take very long flights. I found knitting to be very calming and very soothing. and. It's something to focus on and concentrate on instead of like sitting on the, you're sitting on the tarmac thinking when is this plane going to take off. You're productive and your mind is on that instead of on irritating things. So I, I knit all the time, I knit every day, whether I'm doing a project for Woolen or I'm doing a project for myself. You know, if you sit on the couch and watch TV at night, you might as well have something to show for it at the end of the evening. So, I knit. One day, actually, I was really tired and really nosy. So I sit down and I was playing with my phone. I'm like, oh, let's see what's going on on Craigslist. And then I was like, wait, knitting? Are you kidding me? Knitting? I can do that. Let me just reply and see where it takes me. And so here we are today. <laughs> I think there should be more cross-generational initiatives because it gives everybody a purpose. It gives everybody community. We have very good relationships with our leaders, obviously. Hollis, we met through a senior center in Manhattan, and Charmaine, we actually met her on Craigslist. The way it works, we, we first meet the knitter, and then we explain the project. We come up with the needles and yarn. Uh, have a first round just like to test and to see like can you make a hat or can you make a snood and then we meet like a week later and if we're happy if everyone's happy we just like keep going and give them more yarn and more patterns. I'm not saying that uh, we f French people t um, do better with our senior people but we tend to maybe integrate them more in our, in our life, in that we, we listen to what they're saying, we value their experience, we value their knowledge, and we definitely had this into, into consideration when um, building up woolen. I mean, I'm gonna talk on a knitting uh, point of view because this is my thing, I've been in the knitting business for a long time, and this is my passion, I mean, I started once and then I got hooked, I never stopped. I think when you start knitting and you like it, you, you can't leave it, you just knit every day, you just go for it. 
and we came across so many talented people that they're able to make those amazing sweaters, hats or so many things with their hands but nobody knows about it, nobody really values it but how wonderful it is to get like a sweater or a hat that's been handmade by someone and it's so nicely done.